Hello, this is Zach with Finale Inventory. In this video, we're going to learn how to import sales orders into Finale. Um, so we'll start here at our home screen. There's a couple places that we can look. As always, we can get to any of our imports from the import dropdown here at the top right. Um, or we can go ahead and click into our sales orders. And we can click the import sales order button up here at the top. Um, now, of course, we've got our big box here um, where we can paste in our sales order import. But first, let's take a look at our supported column titles. Um, over here on the left, we will have all of our order level column titles. So this is going to be all of the fields that apply to the whole order, um, such as our order ID, order date, um, sales rep, which is a custom field here. So you can um, import your custom fields as well on your sales orders. And then over here on the right, we have our um, order item fields. Um, and so these are going to be everything that applies at the item level. So we've got our product ID, quantity, and unit price are the most common, as well as an item note if you wish to import that as well. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what a sample um, import might look like. Um, here we've got you know, our order IDs. Um, and then here in columns C through I, we're looking at those order level fields. Um, so our order date, status, customer, customer PO, origin, um, sales rep, which is that, that custom field that we have on this account, um, and our shipping paid. Um, you'll also notice that on orders, um, we've got import one, that's just gonna have one item, and then import two has two items here, and import three has three. You'll notice on this order level fields, that those subsequent um, rows for each additional item, you do not need to repeat those order level fields. Um, you can just leave those blank. And then over here on the order item level, um, we will have all of those fields, of course, filled in. So here we've got you know three of A100 for import one, two of A100 and one of A101 for import two, and four of A100, five of A101 and two of A102 for this import three order. Um, so we will go ahead and copy and paste all of this data. So we'll copy it there. And then we will come in and paste into um, our paste here field and take a look at what we've got. Um, you'll see here, we are starting an import of three sales. Um, and you'll notice here, we've got the dark green ads where we're creating a new sale and the light green below that where we're just adding line items to um, the existing orders that are become, being created in that first row. Um, notice here, we've got no um, errors or warnings, um, so we should be good. Um, one last thing I wanna point out is if for some reason you don't have your column headers matching what finale is expected. So say, you know, you've got product ID here, but on the sales import side, you need to have it called um, order item product ID. You can click these drop downs and map those columns correctly here. Um, in our case, these are all lined up. So we'll go ahead and start that import of these three sales orders. Um, again, we've got our summary here. We can check and make sure there's no warnings. We're importing the amount of sales that we expect to and we will go ahead and start that import. All right, our import is complete, so we'll go ahead and view our sales. Um, I will filter down to just import so we can see you know, the three we imported here. And we can see that they've all imported as expected. Um, we'll click into import three here. As you remember from our spreadsheet, um, we have three line items here. Um, A101, A101, and A102. Um, and again, we will see these reflected here. Um, so we've got all of those items in and that order is ready to go. Um, as always, if you have any questions on how to import this, you can always email us at service at and we will be more than happy to help. Have a great day.